Okay, you know, the question was asked, so I'm trying to try and answer it about the oil cooler that's located in the condenser. So here you can see the oil tank we've been discussing in these videos. Up here, this is the oil regulator block. Oil's discharged here. And this dashed line depicts an oil cooler inside the condenser. Uh, so obviously the heat is rejected in the liquid. Maybe there's some turbulence going there, some bubbling off, boiling off of the refrigerant. Not exactly sure. You could probably call it magic. Either way, the refrigerant goes in at, at a temperature warmer than it leaves here. Okay? So then this oil, of course, is then brought up to the top and it's injected the front journal bearing and then it's piped over to the back to the two rear bearings. Now, the centrifugal pump that's on the front here draws liquid or receives liquid from the bottom of the condenser, okay? So this pressure is higher than the eye of the impeller, okay? So we have a pressure drop while this pump is running. That's what allows this liquid to be drawn out of the condenser. And of course, the centrifugal uh, force uh, does its magic, and that liquid is discharged up through an orifice in the bottom of the stator on these motors. It's then sprayed in there, and it cools down the windings, the rotor surfaces, and whatever else it, it, uh, it contacts. So hopefully, that gives a little bit more clarity on what happens in the oil tank. Thanks for watching.